Hi everyone, this is Carolina here and today I'm going to show you how to create a pixel art mystery picture activity using Google Sheets. Uh, so just to give you a rundown what those are, uh, there's been a lot of them being posted on social media uh, and they're super cute. So the idea is that you can uh, set up a series of questions within Google Sheets and um, as the kids are answering this, a uh, picture will reveal itself. So you can design the picture and then um, set it up, um, code it so the each of the pixels starts showing up. So if I were to take these answers here out, um, you will see some of those pixels disappear. And then as I add them in, you will see them showing up. Um, and again, so you can design this however you want um, and come up with your own design. I just got into this, into the Star Wars saying actually, have some other ones here that I'm working on. Um, and I have one here that someone on one of the Facebook groups made, which is beautiful. They made this, um, uh, not that, <laughs> they made this uh, uh, sugar skull for Day of the Dead, uh, which I'm very grateful for because I do teach Spanish. So this is gonna be an activity I'm gonna do um, next week. And uh, here she had to set up practicing uh, I think it was addition or some sort of math uh, class related topic. And um, I adjusted it so kids are practicing conjugating. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. So let me get started and show you guys how to do this. So the first thing you do is you wanna open a Google Sheets. So again, to do that, you go to your drive and you go to Google Sheets. So it's gonna be there on the plus sign. Um, and then this is gonna show up like this. Now you want to go in the corner here and highlight this and then you're going to want to move this to have it be uh, more in the shape of a square for the pixels. There we go. Now um, I'm going to need more uh, room here so I'm going to right click and add um, a few more columns here and that should be enough room. And then what I want to do is I want to make create the space where I'm going to add the questions and the answers. So I'm going to move this one here. Oh, and then I'm going to move this one here. So in here I would write, you know, question, column. Anyway, so I would write question and answer. I'm going to show you. I have it here. I set up. Um, okay. So then I would want to add a question and answer column. Now, just because of this tutorial, I'm just making it simple. I just wrote one through 14, just like what I would do um, here. I would just be a specific question related to my topic. So for example, Spanish, I could write, you know, how to conjugate the verb um, cantar, okay? Um, so now what you're gonna do in order to code this first, you wanna come up with a design. That's the first thing you wanna do. Um, now, if you're struggling with ideas as to what to design or how to do it, um, a good way uh, to get some ideas is if you Google um, if you do pixel art, you will see uh, different designs that people made. And this can kind of guide you as to where uh, to add the different colors and just kind of create a design um, that you like. So here just have different ones you can use as a guide. Um, and just to show you really quick, what does that entail? So if you were um, to design something here, all you do is you would click on the cell and you would um, go here to the uh, paint can and you would add the color that you want. Um, and then you can just start designing. So I did fill color over here. And let's say I wanna uh, click more than one space. I'm gonna hold shift down and I'm gonna just drag and then I can click color. Now, if I wanna click in different ones, but um, they're in different spaces, because if you do shift, it will go like this. You can click control and you can hold that down and click on the ones that you wanna color in. So um, so again, that's a good idea as far as like using as a guide to come up with a design. You can Google it and just look around where um, the design has you put uh, the different colors. Um, okay, so if we go back here to my picture, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to click here where they answer, where you're going to add the answer, and then you're going to go to format, conditional formatting. So this is how these are made. 
using conditional formatting. So now this is going to pop up here. And what I want to do is I want to pick the color that I want to work on. I think I'm going to start with the black one. And so I'm going to change this to black. And then here where it says format rules, you want to um, add, um, okay, ignore that, format cells if <laughs> costume formula. Okay, and then here's where you're going to add your costume formula. So the formula is going to be equals dollar sign. And then now the, the cell array here where we're in that we're coding, that's column B and then two. So you want to write B dollar sign two equals. Now, if your answer is going to be a number, you would just write the number. So if I want my answer to be one, I would just write one. If your answer is going to be uh, in letters, you will need to put quotation marks and then the letter. So let's say my answer is going to be A, I need to put um, quotation marks in between. So just for this example, I'll put a number and then we'll do another example with the letters. Okay, so now I got equals dollar sign B dollar sign two equals one. So my answer for this is going to be one. And then that should change to that. Now, I want to make sure that I um, select which cells are going to change to that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click here, uh, cell data range, and then you are going to click on the ones that you want. Now I'm going to press con uh, control, that way I can click more than one. So let's say I want these. Let's say here I'm going to hold down and drag these. And let's say I want these here. Okay. All right, so I have all of these clicked. And then I'm going to press OK. Now I'm actually going to remove the B2, which is the cell that I'm on. That way we can see it. Okay. Now you need to make sure you press done. Now it's really important after you press done for you to see where the, these are still selected. Do not unselect them. First, remove the fill, the color, make it um, reset it transparent. Because then otherwise you won't know which ones you did already. And when you go back and you want to uh, call the next set, you you will get confused and not know which ones they are. So it's really important you do that. Okay, so now, for example, if I write this, let's see if it works. If I put one as my answer, they will show up. And if I take that out, they're up. Okay? All right, so let's try that one more time. So you're going to go to Format. You're going to go to Conditional Formatting. And then you are going to go to select the color. Let's maybe do the blue one now. So I'm going to select the color and I'm going to go to custom formula and then I'm going to add the formula. The formula is always going to be the same. So you're going to equal dollar sign B equal again because we're in row B. And now this time is three. Okay. So it's going to be three equal. And then let's say our next answer is two. So again, do two. So we got equal dollar sign B equals three, I mean, sorry, dollar sign three equals two, okay? And now let's select the cells that we want to include. Okay, so here we go. Um, so let's do the blue, I'm gonna press control to just pick a few, let me just drag this here. This one, this, this one, this one, and so on. Okay, and now we press okay, we press done. But these are still selected. And again, it's really important that we remove this so we keep track of what we did. Okay. So now let's see if we do two. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now you see how this is right now. It fills it in. Um, that's because I left this first one here, which I'm going to take out. That way you can, kids can actually see the answers. Um, and then that should be blank now. Okay. So again, I'm going to take this out so I can keep track of what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm just going to show you an example of how to do that uh, with a letter or with a word. So again, I'm going to go to Format, Conditional Formatting. This is where we are here. And um, let's see. Let's do some of the gray. I think it's this gray. Okay, right, right. And then I'm going to go to my formula. And then that will be equal dollar sign. And that is column B dollar sign again for four and then um, equals. And let's say I want my answer to be, I don't know, house. So I would write it in quotation marks here. And then let's pick the cells that we want to include. So 
So let's say I want some here. Something here and maybe some of this here. And maybe these two. Okay. So I'm gonna press okay and I'll actually, like I said before, I'm gonna take out um oh where did it go? Okay, I kind of lost it. Okay, so uh, let's see if this works with the warehouse now. Okay, so I'm going to press done, and then I'm going to remove this, make it transparent, so keep track. And now if we go to question number three, and if we write house, we should see it pop up. Perfect. So we have one, two, and house is our answer. Okay. All right, so um, just really quickly to show you how you would change um, somebody else's question. So let's say this was uh, the person, um, they made this up and you just want to change this. All you want to do is, again, to go to the um, conditional formatting for, um, for that specifically. Um, and then uh, you would uh, change the coding so all you're going to do is you're going to change the word so um for example i'm just going to go over that one okay so i'm going to go to conditional formatting and then you're just going to format it so you would just change this let's say we want it to be dog the answer and in here you get that you would just then test it and see if it works. Uh, now you don't have to worry about this column because this one just doesn't get it's not affected by it. So here you would just write whatever questions you want and then you would just change what the answer um, that codes uh, the pixels is going to be. Um, so that's it guys. This is again, this is something really fun for the kids to do. Um, and there's just so many designs that you can use and different things that you can add. Don't forget when you share this that you need to take out all of the answers before you share it. And then you share it with the kids and then as they're typing in, it will show up. Um, I hope this was helpful. And uh, just so you know, I'm adding some of these uh, examples in the description of my video. So make sure you check them out. Um, and I'll keep adding some more as I keep making it. So just you can always go back and check to see if I have any other ones there. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, just another thing, I've started a, a Facebook group, uh, How to Take for Education. Feel free to join um, and share ideas. And I'm always sharing other stuff there too.